I need to uh, read the instructions and figure out how to change the date on this thing and the time to show the proper date and time, but it's October 12th, 2021. And uh, just let's have a look what's going on with the uh, good old blood pressure. Not bad at all. Um, this is all given that um, I had probably about three hours of sleep last night. Uh, which is, seems to be reflected in the resting heart rate. Resting heart rate's always higher when I'm tired. reason I got only three hours of sleep is I'm trying to get back on track with a work schedule. So even though I'm working at home, I'm trying to get back on track and getting up early. So um, I want to start getting up early. So I got up at 5.30, back on track uh, to the schedule I used to have a while back. I used to get up at 5.30 every day. I want to start doing it again. Um, so that's why... But, you know, couldn't fall asleep as usual yesterday, so um, so yeah, that's why um, only three hours of sleep. I didn't fall asleep till well after two. I'm hoping I will. It's about 9.30 p.m. now. So I'm hoping I'll, uh, I'm hoping I'll fall asleep right away here, and uh, I'm planning to get up again at 5:30 again tomorrow. I want to get that routine going and uh, really get going on uh, working from home and uh, get that uh, figured out. Uh, get that going with high intensity, make the best of it. Uh, look on a bright side, if I can make it work, I can go work from anywhere, so that's what I've been keeping my mind on. And, um, okay, let's do another measurement here. It's not great, but not bad. I've been doing a lot of cooking the uh, last few days. A lot of experimentation, like a lot of experimentation with cooking. I was trying different things. And uh, my, um, my calves are all swollen, like my legs and especially calves get all swelled up from standing in the kitchen for so many hours the last few days i put in a lot of hours in the kitchen um, just learning how to make stuff and um, i really want really want to 
keep keep up the effort of learning how to cook healthy. Um, I learned how to make my own mayonnaise with all healthy ingredients. Um, beef jerky uh, with all healthy ingredients as for, for healthy snacks. Um, zero preservatives. No sodium nitrite, sodium nitrate, no nitrites. Um, none of those uh, fake sauces that people use, all natural. Um, what else did I need to learn to make? Mayonnaise, beef jerky, uh, some new, some new, um, recipes for amazing potato wedges even though I don't want to it's not something that I'm going to be doing too often um, because I'm trying to do low carb so that doesn't really fit in but once in a while it's delicious too and I'm sure it's necessary in the diet as well once in a while um you know, I'm not a huge fan of cutting things out, like, as long as they're natural, as long as it's something natural, you know, I think it's good to throw it in once in a while, because you never know what kind of nutrients you're going to miss out on if you completely cut it out, right, so, you throw in some potatoes once a month, you know, just to make sure you're getting the nutrients that are in there without um, too much carbs. I think that's that's okay to do. Um, so yeah, and then some amazing chicken recipes, chicken, uh, some sauces for chicken. And yeah, well, yeah, like the last week was huge. Like I think I probably put in probably put in 30 hours at least in the last week just in the kitchen uh, every night but man I've learned so much so much it's uh, uh, been the uh, rapid learning some rapid learning um, what else? I uh, I got a chance to add to my short position in the S and P five hundred again. I wasn't sure if I was going to get another chance to continue adding to it, but I'm still adding. The market came back, so that's good. And uh, yeah, I think it probably keep going. It'll probably uh, stay strong, at least until the end of the year. The S&P 500 will probably... I don't think there's going to be a crash this fall. Um, it'll either be a rally until an uh, into year end. A final rally into year end, and then uh, things will probably unravel in the, in the new year or it might be a slow bleed just a slow rollover um, market will go down slowly until the new year and then we might get an acceleration down in the new year um, but yeah not expecting a, a big crash here uh, so lots of chances, lots more chances, I think, to add to the short position, at least until the end of the year. And then uh, we'll see from there. But I think next year is going to be uh, tough. It's going to be tough for the market, for the stock market. So and for, for inflation is really getting out of control here and China's unraveling so 
It feels so much like 2007 right now. Like, so much. Um, that's okay, though. And, uh, what else? Uh, let's do one more final measurement here. And, uh, we'll end this, uh, meandering video. Not too bad. I'll take that. All right. Thanks, and uh, see you tomorrow.